Right guys, episode 4 of my things you can make from an old DVD drive. I'm going to convert this car that I made in episode 3, the propeller driven car, to a gravity driven car. But before that, I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes and convert it to a good old rubber band powered car, because that will be very simple to do. All I'm going to do is take the rubber band off the propeller and wrap it round the back axle. So I'll do that. Right, I've taken the propeller off. Just wrap the rubber band round the back axle. winding it on itself to hold it in place on the axle. We don't want to get too carried away because it's only got to go up the kitchen. That should be plenty I would think. There we go, instant conversion to rubber band powered car. Now we can convert it to a gravity powered car. I intend it to carry a kilogram of weight over 5 metres and to do that we're going to have to beef it up quite a bit because these CDs and these axles won't carry a kilogram in weight. So I'm going to drill some new holes in it, put thicker axles on and I'm actually going to use some wooden wheels Normally, for carrying that sort of weight, I'd put three or four CDs together so that we got the extra strength. But I haven't got enough CDs spare at the moment, so I've made some wooden wheels out of some cheap plywood that are the same size as CDs. I haven't actually made them all that well. I've got a flat spot on that one, so never mind. That's what I'm going to use for wheels. As I say, that's, they're the same size as CDs. I'm just using them because I haven't got enough CDs to go round at the moment. Okay, we don't need this bit on here, so that just comes off nice and easily. That's what I like about hot glue. It's easy to remove. Right, I need bigger axles. I don't know if we can see this on the camera. Bought this for Christmas to stick in the garden outside the house to attract Father Christmas. One of the reasons I bought it was I wanted to use that fan for one of my projects. And the other reason was this stake that comes with it seems to me to be quite substantial tube. I'm not sure whether it's fiberglass or plastic. It certainly seems nice and strong and that is long enough for me to get two axles for my new gravity car. So that's what I'm going to use for the axle. So I need to drill some holes in here big enough for that axle to go through. Right, I've drilled some extra holes in my metal chassis. Some big ones here for the axles to go through and some extra ones here which is where the tower will stand. That's the bottom end in position. Got the flower canes in place. I haven't actually glued them in yet but that's the four flower canes. I've also put a peg in the back axle for the line to hook onto. And I've just been made this wooden plate with a slot in the middle out of a bit of old plywood that I shall use for the top of the tower. Right then, test run time for my gravity powered car made from the casing from the DVD drive. 
We've got a kilogram of weight and we're going to see if we can go the length of my kitchen which is 5 metres. We've got wooden wheels which aren't entirely round so they've got a few flat spots. So I'm just checking that I haven't got it resting on a flat spot before we start. Okay, let's see if we can go. That's picking up speed quite a bit. <laughs> well, clearly it could have gone a bit further than the five metres. Shame I couldn't uh, couldn't demonstrate that, but that's all I can do. Five metres in my kitchen. That was a success. Not the most beautiful car I've made, but it did the job. Quick summary. Uh, lots of lead weights there to add up to a kilogram. So say the chassis is made out of the DVD case or DVD drive case. The wheels are wood, made for some plywood. I've made them the same size as CDs. Um, basically I've run out of CDs. Normally I'd put uh, probably four CDs together for each wheel to carry the weight. Um, but I've run out of CDs so I've had to cut them out of wood which is why they're not entirely round. They've got a couple of flat spots on them. The tower is made out of flower canes that I've doubled up, I've actually hot glued them together to make them stronger. The top of the tower is another bit of my plywood, and in the middle of that we've got the pulley that originally came out of a record player, I think, an old record player. And then we've got fishing line, which is 18 pound braking strain which is enough to carry the kilogram weight. The axles are some tubes that I got for some Christmas decorations. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion they're fibreglass. They seem harder than plastic and when I cut them they go to dust rather than little bits of plastic. But that's it. That's our project for the day completed. I have to think of something else now.